Where am I making today? You're gonna make a roasted chicken with a lemon butter sauce. Today we're gonna make a roasted chicken with a lemon butter sauce because that's what my wife wants to eat for dinner. I made this a few weeks ago on a YouTube short. Everybody in the comments loved it who ended up trying it. It's that good. We're gonna roast up that chicken, make the skin nice and crispy, pour over that lemon butter sauce on top, and then serve it with garlic mashed potatoes and broccoli on the side. Without further ado, let's get to cooking. This roasted chicken recipe is perfect for a weeknight meal. Thank God it's easy to make because I'm guaranteeing you, your family's gonna ask you to make it every week. We're gonna start off by preparing the chicken, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, preferably on convection bake to get the skin nice and crispy. So here we have a young chicken that I got from a local farm where I live. And what we're gonna do is known as spatchcocking the chicken. Flip your chicken over so it's laying on the breasts, then using a sharp pair of kitchen shears, cut on either side of the spine through the bones, then remove the spine. Also, don't throw it away. Freeze it and then save up all those chicken bones so you can make a nice big batch of homemade chicken stock. Flip the chicken over and what we're going to do is give the chicken a little CPR to crack the breastbone so that it lays flat. This is going to help the chicken cook evenly when we roast it in the oven. Now we're going to season the cavity first with a little bit of olive oil and some homemade poultry seasoning. You can use store-bought but if you want to try it it's two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of lemon pepper seasoning, one tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of sugar, and then salt and pepper. Give that a mix until combined and that's a simple homemade poultry seasoning. Now we're gonna flip the chicken over on the breast side, drizzle some olive oil on top, and then generously season with the poultry seasoning. Since this is the presentation side, make sure that there's no bald spots on the skin of the chicken. This will ensure you have a beautiful presentation when you go to carve it. Now you're gonna place the chicken either in a roasting pan, or what I'm using is a wire rack inside of a hotel pan to get airflow underneath the chicken. Now roast the chicken in the oven for about 30 minutes, then reduce the heat to 350 and roast for another 30 minutes. So while the chicken is roasting in the oven, we're going to work on making our lemon butter sauce. To start in a large pan on medium heat, add two tablespoons of olive oil and a fourth a cup of onion or shallot that we diced up earlier. I prefer shallot, but sweet onion works just as good. Season the onion with a little bit of salt and pepper to draw out some moisture, then let that saute for a few minutes until the onions turn translucent. Now we're going to go in with a fourth a teaspoon of some red chili flake and a about two to three garlic cloves that we peeled and minced up nice and fine. Let the garlic saute for about one minute or until it's nice and fragrant. Then we're gonna add two sprigs of some fresh thyme. Let the thyme get nice and fragrant for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna add one cup of a dry white wine. I prefer using Chardonnay, but any dry white wine will work well. Let the wine reduce by half its volume. It usually takes around five minutes or so before adding one cup of chicken stock. Then you're gonna repeat the process by letting that simmer and reducing it by half its volume again. Once the sauce is nice and reduced, we're gonna add one tablespoon of capers with without the brine, then a few tablespoons of lemon juice. I find the best way to do this is to cut the cheeks off the lemon so you don't get any seeds in your sauce. Now we're gonna add a fourth a cup of heavy cream and let that reduce for five to seven minutes or until it's just thickened up slightly. Now remove the two sprigs of thyme, turn off the heat, and we're gonna gently melt a few tablespoons of cold unsalted butter into the sauce. Once the butter is melted and the sauce is thickened up, we're gonna finish with some parsley that we finally chopped up, then taste the sauce and adjust the salt levels as needed and you'll know the sauce is thick enough by if it coats the back of a spoon. If for some reason it's not, add a little more butter until it reaches the desired consistency. So now our chicken's been roasting for just over an hour. It's reached 165 degrees internally because that's what the FDA recommends. If you want a juicier chicken, pull it at 155 in the breast and 175 in the thigh. Now we're going to serve this chicken up with some garlic mashed potatoes on the bottom of the plate, a nice side of broccoli, a generous amount of our lemon butter sauce on top, and then we're going to garnish with a little bit of chopped parsley. If you end up trying this recipe, please leave me a comment and let me know how you liked it. All right, let's give it a try. It gets dark so early this time of year. I started it was light, now it's dark. You like my lights back there? Christmas lights. Anyways, let's give this thing a try. The broccoli is just for decoration. I mean, what can I say about this? I made this not too long ago on a YouTube short. I had a couple people reach out to me, say they tried it and they absolutely loved it. You can't go wrong if you make this chicken. A little bit of lemon flavor. It's nice and creamy. The chicken is perfectly seasoned. The skin is crisp. I guess you could go to the store and pick up a rotisserie chicken and then make the sauce, kind of cut down on some of that thyme. Either way, it's gonna be excellent. It really is easy to do. I mean, it looks like it's complicated, but it's really not. It's a very simple sauce. You know, when you make chicken piccata, it's very similar. That sauce is just a lemon butter sauce. It's very good over the chicken. These mashed potatoes are pretty much high 
I do them every time. What I do is I peel and slice up some potatoes, I boil them, and then the only thing I do differently is I put some garlic cloves in the water and then mash up the garlic cloves with the potatoes and it makes for an excellent mashed potato. You know, you could use a ricer if you want to use a ricer to make them. I just like to mash them a little bit so they have a smooth texture and then you get a little bit of chunky bits in there. Overall, I like it, my wife loves it. The only other thing I can say, it goes good with rice or you can eat it with like a polenta or something like that. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video or you learned something, give me a like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.